Hi, hello and welcome to Daily Vape News, DVN. So um, this is my first official review for DVN USA and I hope you're gonna enjoy it, but more behind the intro. Hi. Welcome to my first review for DVN Vape News. Uh, like I said, um, this is my first review for DVN officially. And um, the first thing I'm reviewing is this awesome Simba atomizer from uh, Unification of Design. And um, yeah, I will tell you a lot more about it in my macro area. So see you back in a sec. Hi and welcome to my macro area now. So now we're gonna do a little unboxing um, and I'm going to show you the box. There you can see it's called Simba. It's made by UD, Unification of Design and there you can see it's a standard version. There's another uh, company's logo like Unification of Design and on the bottom we have got the AN code and there is the QR code and um, here is the silver is scratch and check so you can check if you really have an original okay um, I'm going to open the box voila so oh, it's a beauty isn't it so here you can see the lion as well and the name Simba and you can read it's a sample um, I can remember when I was a child there was this um, cartoon series called Simba the White Lion I don't know if you know it as well but I guess it's it's um, made from that so very beautiful so um, I will just put it aside now and I will tell you a little bit more later okay so okay let's put this aside and here okay we get a little user's manual you can see how it is built and um, the different kinds of coils so it's the SEC it's a solid ceramic coil then it's the ROCC it's um yeah ceramic coil with a um, with two coils of um, cotton so and the R the RBA it's made very nice wow Okay, a little more instructional stuff. So you can see it's a top filling, and um, you got this liquid control. You should close before you use it. Very nice. Okay, so um, let's get further. Okay, here's another coil. Ah, okay, this is the solid ceramic coil. So um, the other one with the cotton is uh, inside. Okay, it's a ceramic cotton coil. So let's have a look a little bit closer. Here inside you can see the ceramic. Very nice made. Wow. Okay, the, the liquid control is very nice. Wow, big holes. Okay, very nice. So and then here we have a spare glass plus yeah, the RBA. Let's try to get it out. Wow. Put that back in. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, I think this is apart from the protection against um, condensation. It um, belongs into the top, but I will show you later. And over here we got the RBA. Now it, um, we can use it for a single coil, and on the other side. We have this uh, ceramic here and a little bit of um, yeah plastic. So if I get it out, ah okay. Now we can use it um, even as a dual coil. Very nice. Wow, I like it. I already like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So we can put this back in here. We got some O-rings. Mm -hmm. Spare O-rings. That's nice as well. Okie dokie. So. I will give you a little um, vape curtain and we see you back in a sec.
Okay, so now let's get into the details. Oh yeah, now you can already see inside the drip tip there's something. And um, this is, uh, yeah, an air control. So um, you can control how much air should be flowing. So very nice made drip tip, I've never seen that before. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, now let's get to the atomizer itself. Okay, down here you can see there's a liquid control and you should close it. Ah, okay, so there it goes. Okay, before uh, filling it up and um, this here is a top filling system, you see. And here is another, um, yeah, collecting, um, it's collecting the condensation, so um, it's coming back down. That's very nice made. Okay, so here is the, here are the big holes where you can put the liquid in. Very nice, but before you put it in, you should close the liquid control down here. And wait, there it's opening again, you see. Uh, closed and uh, open. Wow, that's uh, these are huge holes to let the liquid in. So, okay, let's have a look inside. Check the coil. Okay, ah, now you see this is a ceramic cotton coil. It's a um, dual coil system, very nice. And uh, on the side you can see the ceramic as well. And whoa, this is uh, wow, this is a big liquid intake. Huh? So um, inside here, oh, get sharp. So inside here you can see there's ceramic as well. And um, this is collecting the condensation and juice. So it uh, starts, um, um, preventing the condensation so it doesn't leak out that, that much anymore. So that's a very nice made. Wow, I like it a lot. They really have some new inventions in here. So let's get the coil out. Wow, they're big, huh? Nice, very nice. And okay, check inside. It's very nice made. So some new inventions as well that's um cool so um this uh, there's this built-in juice absorption ceramic wow okay so the airflow in the bottom it's um you see okay here i'm back again i uh, just check jump check something so um, now you can uh, see the air flow. It's closing deep inside. You see? Open. And closed. It's very nice. And um, you can also get this bottom ring off here. And there you can see the ceramic to collect the condensation. Very nice. So, um, they really made up their minds. Wow, I'm impressed. So, let's put it back on. So, okay, here we go. And the, the airflow is opened and closed. Same with the liquid control. Liquid control closed and oh, completely open. Very nice. Okay, so um, I would say let's get this thing working. So at first we will put some liquid onto the coil itself to prepare it.
Okie dokie. So this is done. Okay, I'll flip back to the atomizer. Mm -hmm. So first thing I check now, you see the liquid control is closed properly. And now I will open the top. Fill it up. Okay, that's nicely filled up. All right, so put the top back on. So now we can open the liquid control. Uh, and the liquid control open both sides properly. Okay. Hi, here I'm back from the macro area. So um yeah, I already prepared my um my mod and uh, I'm using it on 45 watts because the watts range is between 40 and 50 watts and uh, if you want to use it in temperature mode it's between 204 and uh, let me have a look it's between 204 and 287 degrees and 400 Fahrenheit to 550 Fahrenheit so um, yeah, but I'm using it in a wattage, so um, wow, very nice. So let's um, check the air flow. Wow, so in the top, um, we got this air control too, and it's um, yeah, it's, so you can use it if you are um. Yeah, uh, I, in Germany it's Backendampfer und um, Lungen. So um, if, you, if you use it like a cigarette, you can use it as well because uh, you can close the air control. And yeah, you really have to suck hard on it. So um, I put it back on big. And it's very good for direct lung inhalation. Yeah, so. Um, I have to say it's a really really a good thing it's really a, a very good atomizer the Simba and um, yeah thank you to Heaven Gifts for uh, this nice sponsoring Wow and it's really having a good taste I'm really impressed. Wow, very nice. Okay, this was it for today, and I hope uh, you all enjoyed it. I did, and um, yeah, uh, maybe a last word. It's completely made out of stainless steel. And um, yeah, this dual uh, airflow control is very cool as well. So we have it in the, inside the drip tip, and that's. Um, completely new for me and we have the casual one in the bottom but um, in this case I would say you can leave it open in the bottom and you can do the whole air control over the drip tip and that's um, yeah, that's cool 
very nice. I've never seen something like that before. Then you, yeah, you, you got this um, liquid inlets, um, and you can yeah never forget if you refill it, close them, otherwise it's gonna leak. And you got this condensation um, uh, ring in the bottom where um, yeah pre where it's preventing that it's starting to leak in the bottom, and that's a cool idea. I've never seen that before. And we got this um, ring in the top where um, condensation is uh, prevented as well. So I can show it again. Maybe I didn't do it. So we got this dual uh, condensation prevention. Very good, very nice. Okie dokie. Wow, it's amazing. Okay, thanks a lot and uh, have a nice day and I will give you the last vape curtain. So, yeah, see us back. Okay, as you see I'm not gone. Um, I want to show you how to put a coil into the, the RBA that's provided. So, uh, first I have to loosen the screws at the top. Uh, so, I'm going to take a different screwdriver so you're not seeing just my fingers okay so then um, I need to check they are loosened good so then I'll take off the back because I wanna just put one coil in um, I'm using a Clapton so wait I'll show you better like this okay so this is the Clapton coil I have to stick it in and I have to put it in all the way otherwise it's going to touch the outside and then we will have a problem because it won't work then you will get um, the information atomizer short This looks very good to me. Now I can start straighten it. So it's really good in position. Like this looks good to me. And now I need to cut off the ends. That's why I took the other side off. One, two. So this is already looking quite good to me. Maybe I can um, put it a little bit, a little bit more into the middle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that the coil is in, I have to put the cotton in, and um, I stick it in like this. I twisted the one end, and now I will pull it through. Okay, like this. It's looking brilliant. Very nice. So now I can cut one end off like this, and the other end like this. And now I need to show it like this. I need to it's still too long, much too long. So I cut a little bit more off. Now I have to. Can, show, can I show you? Like this, I think it's the best. Okay, this side looks good to me. And now I have to put it together. Hmm, sorry. And I will cut it off like this. I do the same thing to the other side. should be fitting okay like this and like this all right so now I'll take some of my liquid and I will prepare the cotton
Okay. And on the other side as well. Okay, now I need to check that I have it in front of the liquid inlets. Both sides. Okay, and I can still keep that a little bit off. This looks very good. So, okay. And okay. Okay, now I will try to put it onto the tank itself. Okie dokie. So now let's see. A little bit annoying here. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, no, it's base. Okie dokie, that was it. And um, now it's Okay, here I'm back again. So last time we see us, um, now I'm already vaping the RBA. Um, and I have to admit it's really nice, it's having a very good taste. And um, with this RBA, I, it's like a rebuildable dripper tank atomizer, because um, this is not just a RBA, it's, this is really like a dripper, so um, I really like it, I have to admit it's a very good thing and Wow, and it's having a very good taste, so um, Yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed this review, last time I'm saying goodbye for today and um, Yeah, vape on, vape strong, see you next time